guys, this is Charlie with Pinewood Outdoors, and today I'm excited to be showing you a review of the SOS, or Serious Outdoor Survival, uh, Paramilitary Survival Bracelet. Now, the great thing about these survival bracelets is they're always right there when you need them, because uh, it's easy to carry on your wrist. So, uh, this is a really great product from SOS, and it has a number of tools to aid you in a survival situation. Components of this kit are mainly for getting a fire started in an emergency situation, uh, but a few of these tools have a number of other uses. So here on the front we have a uh, P51. This is just a sim very similar to the P38 uh, can opener. Uh, this is just a little bit larger, so it's easier to use. And this has tons of uses from uh, cutting links of paracord from the bracelet for cordage or to cleaning fish and small game. So while you're wearing the bracelet, um, the P51 is secured on here, it's pretty tight. Uh, you can't use it while you're wearing it, but if you unbuckle it, it becomes loose. And all you have to do is flip it inside out and reveal the blade and you're good to go. So next, the buckle itself it's very durable and built into it is um, a survival whistle which I'll give a little blow here as you can hear it's very loud and will get someone's attention in a survival situation next right behind the uh, buckle is a ferro rod this is a fairly good size it's easy to strike and it's woven into the bracelet so now um, on the inside of the paracord and it runs the whole length of the bracelet is 550 fire cord and uh, if you're familiar with paracord uh, it has seven inner strands of nylon and this uh, fire cord is very similar to those but it has uh, fire starting uh, properties it's easy to light and it's very combustible. So uh, what I'm going to do is take this kit apart and show you how to get a fire start started with the things on the bracelet. Okay, so this is what the kit looks like uh, after it's unraveled. As you can see, it's a pretty good length of paracord here to use for cordage. Uh, here's the ferro rod on the end. Up front is this length of paracord, which uh, holds the fire cord. Then the P38 and the whistle buckle. So now I'm going to show you how to get the fire started. So uh, here's a quick tip uh, how you can hold this. Just give it a little slack. You can run your hand through there. It's easier to grip and it'll be a lot easier to strike the fire cord okay so first before I do that I'm just gonna open this up and pull the fire cord out okay so now you can see what the fire cord looks like so you're gonna want to get a little a length a little over an inch and uh, you can use your P51 to cut it. So now that I've cut this, um, all I have to do is just fray it up a little bit to make it easier to catch a spark. Now I'm just going to use my knife to kind of fluff this up. As you can see, it's just a little bit okay so what I've done here is fluffed up all the fire cord to a nice ball right there and I've just taken the cord and the ferro rod and placed it on a stick to kind of rest it on to stabilize it and I'm just going to take the edge of my knife you can also use the p51 to do this but I'm just going to scrape some of this off and try to get a fire going there we go took two strikes
Wow, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Hey folks, I'm Wesley with Super SE Straps. Today I want to talk about our Scout Paracord Bracelet. There are actually three different models. The Slimline, the Basic, and the Pro. Each one's an upgrade over the other. So in the first one, you're going to have a whistle buckle, and inside that whistle buckle is a ceramic blade and a ferro rod. In the basic, you've got those same things, only you also have a six inch strap of duct tape, two fishing hooks, and a water purification tablet for two liters of water. And then the upgrade from that, you're gonna have four Ranger bands, a P38 multi-tool can opener, and an additional water purification tablet, bringing it up to four liters of water. So let me talk a little bit about how to use the buckle. So the main thing this buckle that draws your attention is gonna be the ceramic blade and the ferro rod. Let me show you how to make a fire. Now you can you got to get your tinder together first. I'm using some random leaves, some twigs, and the red stuff you see here is actually in some of our paracord. It's called a, a live fire tinder wick, and I've kind of wadded that up and got it ready to make a fire. So let me show you how that starts. First, you want to scrape off some of the black coating on the blade. Okay, that gets it ready to go. And then when you're ready, when you get that black coating exposing the silver ferro, make a quick strike. And like I said, in each bracelet, you've got some duct tape. Duct tape can be used for a lot of things. In this case, you can actually light it on fire to use as tinder. Maybe make a torch. Whatever you want to do. Just showing you how easy it is to make a fire with our bracelets. And this will burn for a while. I don't want to let it burn right now because I'm going to show you some other things in our bracelet. So let's get rid of this. All right. So... Let me show you how the whistle works, as if you would not know. There's the whistle. Okay. Now, we've got the P38, which pops right out. This is from the, uh, the Pro model. Comes right out like that. It's attached on a lanyard through the bracelet. You can come over here, and I'll show you how to open the can. Take that blade to expose it. Now, this P38 can be used for prying open, you know, small tools, use it as a box cutter, whatever you want. Come down on the can, get it in position, and then pry back and forth. They call it a P38 because it takes 38 punctures. I'm not going to show you all 38 punctures, but as you can see there, I've got that exposed. So you just go around it 38 times, you're going to have your can open. Don't waste your time with that. Now some of the rewards, you're going to have Kevlar utility string. Let me show you how this works. Now, it's not originally part of the Scout bracelet, but like I said, some of the Kickstarter rewards is going to give you this. Amazing stuff. It can cut through paracord, limbs, piping, rope, zip ties, you name it. Stuff's very sharp. Well, I wouldn't say sharp, but by doing the friction motion, you're probably going to want to either wear gloves or run the Kevlar between two pins or two sticks, uh, in this case. I've got it ready to go. Let me show you the PVC pipe. Get it secure. And this is just not that you'd ever have to cut through a PVC pipe. This is just to show you something you could do. Okay? So we'll get it ready and let's go. There you go. Cut through the pipe. Show you the rope. Just some of the different applications. zip tie and you see I'm using the same one for various different things and this is just one of the rewards to say thanks for showing your support now the Mac Daddy using the same Kevlar I don't know if it'll go through this but we'll give it a try all that. Now, on the special edition reward, we're going to give you more options. We're going to give you a survival tin, some new colors to choose from, 
But folks, I could use your support on this. I'm trying to make the scout a reality for everybody so we're all prepared. Hey folks, I'm Wesley Page with Super Rescue Straps. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our bug out bracelet. This is the bug out bracelet. It's probably our most outfitted bracelet that I've designed. The object behind this is when you don't have a bug out bag with you, you may not have your Altoid survival tin with you, you are going to have this with you. It's something you can wear 24 7. I'm going to go through each piece on it, but I just wanted to give you a close up of the actual bracelet. Okay? Um, you can see a compass on it, P38. Underneath that ranger band is a fire tender. Um, you got your Kevlar string underneath this ranger band. Um, blow string, uh, a glow light here. So basically everything else is inside. So let's go ahead and break it down. And by that, I'm not going to tear my bracelet down. It takes too many hours to work on. First of all, let's talk about paracord. Great stuff, 550 pound strength. You can replace your shoelaces, make a bow straw, a bow saw, I'm sorry, weave together a fishnet, whatever you want to do. All our bracelets are going to come with about 10 to 15 feet. So there's what you got. Next inside this bracelet is a little knife blade. It's like an exacto knife blade. I went ahead and put it on a stick here so I can use it to cut with, saw. Um, you can fashion a, an arrow out of it. And I, I made this by using a safety pin, which is also included, duct tape, which is included and uh, wrapped it around with some Kevlar string, which is also included. So let's just go ahead and uh, go through the process of what we have here. You've got jute string, which can be torn open and use this tinder, just kind of pull these fibers out and create a nice little nest. Now I could work on this for a while and kind of spread out those fibers, but I'm gonna go ahead and toss it right here in a little fire. I'm gonna have it ready to show you here in a second. Um, just go through some of the basic items. Safety pin, a large one, a small safety pin, the compass I told you about, waterproof, shock resistant, and you can tell it's a good compass because there's no bubble showing. It's great, I've used it in land nav in the military. Very good. Got a zip tie. This one's going to be wrapped, packed with three duct tape straps. And that's how the items are actually packed inside the duct tape straps. So these can be used to repair a hole in a tent or a poncho or even a raft. It's got a little nail pick. Use it for whatever you want to do. Stick to a tree, hang something from it, who knows. Uh, I just tore out all the nylon string that's in the paracord just so you can see. Um, you can pair this with a fishing hook, which is right here. Let me see if I can get that where you can see it. This fishing hook's included as well. So you've got about 160 foot worth of nylon string to use with a fishing hook for fishing. You've got a paracord pin, just a little ink pin that I include. You never know when you may need to take notes down. That's in the, that's in the bracelet. Band-Aid, simple. There's that glow light surface again. Just a few seconds of light will give you about 10 minutes of glow light to read a book or look at a map. Purification tablet, purify your water. Uh, I believe it's about two liters of water. You got a needle for sutures, sewing, repairing things. It's got the, the needle head on it. Got two ranger bands, great little objects, stretchable. You can strap down your gear, you can use them as fire tinder. I'll burn one here in a second so you can see how that works. Um, the Kevlar string, basically this little stuff right here. Wrap it around your hands a couple of times come between a stick and just use it as a, a saw. Great stuff, Kevlar. Learned about that in Sears school. Last is, uh, this stuff is made by Live Fire. It's fire tinder from a fire cord. And I'm gonna take a knife, and I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna start a fire using the three and one buckle. So let's take this, we're just gonna make it real fibrous. That way the fire spark has a little bit more to go by. About one inch of this stuff will burn for about a minute. So you see the bracelet has about six inches in it. So you've got a good six minute just off this burning if you need to wrap it around a stick and use it as a torch. Which these ranger bands work good. Put them on the end of a stick. You can walk around. They'll burn for about 30 seconds each. And it creates a lot of black smoke so they're good for signal fires. Okay. Just a little bit more. Now, if you see that tin 
foil right there. This bracelet also comes with a 5x5 five five inch strap of foil, which I fashioned that one into a little cup. You can use it as a signal mirror, something to create a Faraday cage. I'm using it as a cup so I can boil water. Alright, so let's take all this over here. Fire. And I'm trying to rush through this so this video isn't forever long. So let's hope I get this on the first couple of tries here. So this is a three in one buckle. It comes with a whistle. A fire steel rod, which is attached in there. It's also removable. And a fire striker blade can be used as a signal mirror, whatever you want. So I'm going to take this right here. Oops. There we go. All right, so we've got fire. So we're going to throw some uh, sticks over it to keep it going. And you have a lot of this fire tinder. I just use a little bit of it. Maybe about an inch and a half for that. And then what you can do, and you get the fire going pretty well. We'll go ahead and place this on top. And there you go, folks. Give that about three or four minutes. All right, well, there's the bracelet. That's everything in it. I think I showed you everything. It's a wearable bracelet. It cost me close to $100 to make with all the little objects and things I buy. Um, thanks for your support. If you got any questions, just leave, leave a comment and uh, visit us on Facebook, Super Essie Straps. Thanks.